clever one. Introduced in 1985, Yamaha's VMAX is a legend in the world of motorcycling. The V4 engine, shaft drive, and futuristic styling position, the VMAX is a performance alternative among cruisers. Uh, in 2009, the company reintroduced the model as the VMAX and equipped it with an updated 1679C 65 degree engine. While Yamaha continues to improve the performance of its bikes with features like ride by wire, the VMAX's aesthetics haven't received much attention in the last decade. And the design feels very dated when compared to the Ducati, Dival, and Triumph Rocket 3, two models that have dominated muscle cruiser headlines. Uh, in recent years, with changing tastes, Hungary based Jakusa Designs is reimagining the original electric cruiser for a new generation. And what the design looks like. Let's discuss it. To add a sport impression to the sport, Heritage VMAX, it's a Yakuza appropriated parts from Yamaha's Mat T10. Uh, the twin bug eyed headlights are the most striking component borrowed from the Super Naked. Coupled with the dorsal fin on the VMAX gas tank, the anatomical elements give the concept a predatory appearance. The MT10's influence doesn't stop at the front of the bike. Jakusa removed the VMAX's fitted fenders and replaced them with a sport-inspired tail section. The resulting shape mimics the sleek, streamlined shape of the new Diavel and Rocket 3 and contemporary the Cruiser's silhouette. To add visual weight to the underside of the frame, Jakusa uses a chin spoiler to cover the large dual radiator configuration and wheel covers to simplify the wavy cuts on the stock magazine. Due to the many aesthetic changes, Jakusa had to improve the rider's position as well. Uh, the design firm added a dose of sport aggro to the ergo with clip-ons, rear pegs, and a raised seating position. We're not sure if you want to lean your chest over a tank with your dorsal fin pointing straight at your sternum, but at least you'll look good doing it. With its aggressive stance, dark cosmetics, and animalistic features, one could easily imagine this concept as the next bat cycle. We just hope Yamaha takes notice and brings the VMAX into the next decade in the same way. Uh, so that's our review for today. See you in the next video.